All right. Hey guys, happy Thursday. Unfortunately, all I got for you today is a little how do you do because we just got moved in here with the skin of our teeth. Like as we were beginning the uh, move out inspection walkthrough in the garage, I still had crazy neighbor and everybody moving stuff out and sweeping the garage before we actually got out there. So whew, we're getting our damage deposit back. So that's unexpected and awesome because I figured we were pretty close. We had to, you know, rent two extra weeks or you know, extra 15 days in order to get all moved out due to the shortage of uh, help in these times. So out here on the acreage, there is a pile of straw that has been pulled out. I don't even want to show the rest of this yard. It is mucky and gross. So well, we're going to walk down here. I took a, a trip down here with a friend not long ago and we did this on snowshoes. I'm going to see how, how plausible it is to go down here in the boots. I think that looks all right. So this is all, all part of our property and it goes on for quite a while. Oh yeah, that's not so bad. Not so bad. down here you can't even see the house or the vehicles or anything that's great now I got birch trees down here I really haven't had a chance to fully explore because I've been so busy moving well it's like I could build a little debris shelter or something under there or over there or hmm? Pretty well anywhere. So, oh, that birch looks almost big enough to tap for syrup. Yeah, we're talking, we're talking. Yeah, I'm gonna walk up a little bit further and I gotta see if I can get to that beaver pond over there or the, the pond on the property, just to see what that looks like. There's some company around here. Well, this is where I run out of property. They've got a fence set up here. The neighbor's side, he's got a quad trail coming out there. Then right across the lake, this little beaver pond thing. So this pond goes all the way over there as well. Let me just trespass briefly here for a second. Yeah, so the property line is actually that, that trail that goes up on the other side of this pond. And it looks like he's trying to build a fence all the way through the pond. So that's all right. I'll play on my side of the pond and he can have his. So... This will get back up to the house. I just have to quickly get around a little barbed wire and back on safely to my to my little square. And yeah, it's a quick little update video to let you guys know I'm still alive. We've officially moved in. You can just make out the house through the trees there. And uh, yeah, we'll be back. I got about five or six really good ideas the other day while we were moving. I was just thinking and I said, I gotta jot these down because these are good ideas. And I got about five. A lot of them are pretty stealthy ideas too. So we will see you guys uh, next week. Just thought I'd touch base and maybe earlier if we can find a cell tower in the vicinity. And the roads are pretty sketchy. I'm going to put up a clip that I filmed yesterday trying to get down the driveway. Wow. Okay. Coming into the property from the main road, 
This is what she's looking like right now. Now that's sadly as far as my beautiful 97 Toyota Corolla could make it. Now we just parked it there for now. Now this stretch is not too bad. Not too shabby. And this is things uh, getting a lot worse before they get better here. A lot worse. Now, I know this vehicle is uh, all-wheel drive, but still, this is probably a bit much for a, a small Hyundai SUV. Kind of a two-handed steering operation should be being used right now. But okay. So here's where I got the truck parked and where we got the tent set up. Quite the thing. So we'll uh, I'll keep you guys uh, updated and. Oh, well, all the hard work's over now. Moved into the place. Just the unpacking and all that and and trying to fix up this dilapidated little place here. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next week. And until then, hunker down. You guys are camping with Steve.